Paris Saint-Germain remain top of the Ligue 1 Conferama with a stunning 5-0 win over rivals Lyon at the Parc des Princes. An evening which started so well for the Parisians after Neymar was brought down in the penalty box. Up step Neymar and a phenomenal penalty giving the Capital Club a one-goal lead. The victory for Paris means that it is the first time in the history of the French League that a team wins their opening nine matches in a season. Kylian Mbappe, of course, getting on the score sheet. It's becoming a habit for the young Frenchman. And he would make history against Lyon with the World Cup winner scoring four goals in just 13 minutes. His first quadruple in French football. Paris Saint-Germain remain top. And are eight points clear of Lille in second. Le Dug under Christophe Galtier completely revitalized this year after struggling last campaign. But no problems as Jonathan Bamba scored one of the goals of the weekend with a shot from range against his former club, Wabi Kazri, who was brought down. And eventually the penalty was then converted by Remy Kabela, making the score one all at half time. But nothing, it seems, can stop the attacking duo of Lille at the moment. Nicolas Pepe for Jonathan Bamba once again. A brace for the Frenchman. And then a goal for Pepe himself. 3-1 the final score. Lille solidly in second. After a disappointing week for Rudy Garcia's Marseille, including a 3-0 loss to Lille, and a draw against Apollon Limassol in the Europa League. It was important for Marseille to bounce back. Kostas Mitroglou showing the way for the Olympians after he headed in Florian Tovan's cross. Tovan then added one of his own. Marseille two, Cornil, Marseille back in third. Montpellier solid as ever. And they came up against the Guingamp side, bottom of the table. Phenomenal goal by Andy Delors to open up the debates for them. But Nicolas Benezet equalising after a brilliant pass by Lucas Dor. Guingamp slowly gathering momentum, but they remain bottom. Bordeaux at the Matmut Atlantic Stadium had the opportunity to climb up the standings. And it was job done really in the first half as Caramo scored the goal of the weekend with an absolutely phenomenal strike. No chance for Tata Rusanu in goal. Nantu had a new manager in the dugout after Miguel Cardoso was sacked, but that change didn't impact the players who continued in the same old way. Mistake after mistake, giving Bordeaux a foothold in the match. Nantes remain penultimate in the standings, having won just one of their opening nine matches. Toulouse came up against the Nice side, also on the back of a disappointing 3-0 loss against Paris Saint-Germain. Srafi opened the score for the visitors. Toulouse with equalise through Dosevi. A one-all draw at home, but Toulouse keep up their good start to the season. Angers have been struggling of late. Stéphane Moulin's team struggling for goals. And they struggled early on as Mutiba opened the score for Strasbourg. The visitors who have started brightly to the season. They now move up into ninth place with 12 points. Thanks in particular to that man, Mutiba, getting two goals in the match. Angers replying in the second half. First, Pierre Capel. Striking in brilliantly with his left foot. But then late drama with Romain Thomas heading in the equaliser in the 93rd minute. A deserved equaliser. Final score, 2 all at the Stade Raymond Coppa. It's the worst start to the season for Monaco, the Principality side, really struggling. And matters were only made worse 
Damien da Silva scoring the first goal for Ren. Sabri Lamushi's men struggled in the second half. Radamel Falcao adding one. But the new signing for Ren, Hatem Benafa, scoring his first league goal since April 2016, giving Ren the victory 2 1. More pressure on Leonardo Yardim and Monaco. Ren continue to climb up the table. Amiens Dijon was all about one moment of magic from Godos. What a strike, what a goal, incredible. It's an absolute peach of a goal and the only goal in that match as Amiens win 1-0 and move up into 13th place on 10 points. Nîmes and Reims, both the promoted outfits, would play out a 0-0 draw, but one of the most entertaining 0-0s you'll ever see. Camara striking the post for the visitors. Nîmes had an opportunity to respond, but both teams getting nothing on the night. Nîmes 14th, Reims 17th. Plenty of action in week nine of the Ligue 1 Conferama. Paris Saint-Germain, of course, beating Olympic Lyonnais 5-0. Good wins as well for Bordeaux and Marseille and a very bad loss for Monaco. Looking at the standings, Paris Saint-Germain atop, eight points clear of Lille and a goal difference of plus 26. Marseille go back into the top three. Olympic Lyonnais stopped in their tracks. Angers moving up the standings in 10th. At the bottom of the table, no changes as Yangon remain bottom, but they are slowly gathering momentum and creeping towards safety. Monaco and Nantes suffer more defeats, which keep them in the bottom three. Looking ahead, Lyon will open week 10 as they welcome Nîmes to the Stade OL. Paris Saint-Germain welcome Amiens to the Parc des Princes. The match of the week will see Nice take on Marseille.